Good day, everybody. Welcome to another session of Folk Tutorials. Today, we want to continue with our correction of errors and suspense accounts. And then, we have not yet taken a question, but then, I want us to look at the effect of errors on profit. We've spoken about the errors and maybe how to correct them. But then, we want to also look at how the errors will affect profits as well. So that when we are taking a question, we will look at a question, a comprehensive question, where we will correct errors and also adjust our net profit. And so we are looking at the effect of errors on profits. The effect of errors on profit. Does errors affect profit or it does not? Remember that we said that accounting errors are errors that are committed or omissions, misstatements or wrong entries in the books of accounts. And they are usually done in the double entry system. Now we know that the double entry is used to extract a trial balance. And when a trial balance is extracted, it is from the trial balance that we prepare our income statement and our statement of financial position. Now the income statement that we prepare from this trial balance is what we use to ascertain our profit or loss for the period. That means that now, there are stages where the errors can be detected and corrected. Now, if you make an error in your books and you extract a trial balance, and at the end of the year, you are able to identify the errors that you have made in the books before you prepare your final account, you may be in a better position to correct the errors and extract a corrected trial balance before you prepare your final account. And that means that whatever profits, net profits or loss that you are going to ascertain from your income statement, will be correct because you have already corrected your errors. On the other hand, if you were not able to detect the errors, but you went on to prepare your final account from the trial balance that has been affected by the errors, then the chances are that the net profit that you are going to ascertain from your income statement is going to be wrong. And that means that if you detect it after you have prepared your final account that there were some errors in the double entry system and you correct those errors then of course the profit that you have reported on your financial statement must be corrected as well because some of the errors that you made were in the trial balance and they have affected the profit they will either overstate or understate the profit and so the yes errors will affect the uh, profit or the net profit and that is why when you see a question on correction of errors usually the first requirement, you you will be told to uh, prepare a journal to correct the errors, and you can see a requirement B where you are supposed to prepare a suspense account. And then there will be a third requirement usually, requirement C, where you will be required to uh, prepare a corrected net profit statement. And that is where I want us to look at, so that after we have understood how to go about that, we can take a comprehensive question and try to uh, uh, solve and understand. And so, they will, you see that the net profit has been affected by the errors that you committed. And so, how are we going to correct the net profit? So, straight away, we will have to prepare a statement of adjusted net profit. But then, this statement of adjusted net profit that we are going to prepare will be adjusted with the errors that affected the profit. And then we will use that to correct the net profit. Let us also note that the final accounts that we prepare, the, at least... If not for the forgetting about the cash flows in the case of a company, looking at the sole trader, we prepare the income statement and the statement of financial position. The net profit is disclosed by the income statement. That means that errors that does not affect income statement items will not affect the net profit. And let me repeat it again: that errors that do not affect items on the income statement will not affect the profit. So if an error affects motor vehicles, for example, that you overstated your motor vehicles figure, motor vehicles is a non-current asset and it is reported on the statement of financial position. It means that that error will not affect profits because it is not in the income statement. And so when you are preparing your statement of adjusted net profit or corrected net profit, the error that was made on the figure of motor vehicles will not be adjusted on the profit because it was not affected. So what we are trying to say is that 
only errors that will affect income statement items are adjusted on the net profit and they are adjusted as the affected profit so if an error for example is on purchases purchases is in the income statement and so if purchases is overstated for example or overcast we ask ourselves that what will be the effect of these purchases overcast on profit what will be the effect of these purchases overcast of course purchases is an expense and if expenses are overstated it means that you are understating your profit in effect if you if your expenses are inflated your profit decreases and so if you are correcting then that inflation should be taken off it means that the difference should be added back to your profit because you have over you have understated your profit and so we always look at the effect now going be to be more specific i'll go straight forward to show how you prepare this statement of adjusted net profit and so you say statement of adjusted net profit so this is the statement of adjusted net profit you bring your currency sign and then you will always begin with the net profit reported for the year so net profit reported and this net profit reported will be given to you in the question so this is your net profit reported now we are going to correct this profit so now let me come back again that let me start straight away with income and expenses now with income and expenses we'll say that we look at the effect of it on profit now look at income for example sales is revenue is income now if your incomes are overstated for example if sales is overstated then it means that in effect your profit will be overstated because you take out all expenses from your sales and so if sales is higher than it's supposed to be then it means your profit is also higher than it's supposed to be that means that the excess the overstated amount the difference that has overstated sales has also overstated profit by the same amount and so in order to correct your profit you subtract that figure from your profit and so on this statement you will less sales overcast now if it was a sales undercast or an income undercast any income at all that is undercast it means that you have understated the profit because if that figure was there profits would have gone up and because you have understated your profit then that difference needs to be added back to profit and so what we are trying to say is that look at the effect look at the effect and then try and correct the effect so if the effect of the error was that it reduced profit then that figure must be added to profit if it increased profit unnecessarily then you take it out of profit and so basically for income and expenditure your, you it is your duty to know that sales is income purchases is expense then looking at mostly the income and expense items like rent advertising expense motor vehicles and all that if they are overstated or understated the treatment is the same because they are all expenses expenses then all income items also they are treated the same so that is basically the income statement and then so what we do basically is that starting with income if income is understated we have understated profit so we have to add it back so once you see net profit reported you see add so we add income undercast so we, we bring it here now income undercast it means income overcast will be less and so if income undercast is added then we add expenses overcast as well so this is how it's supposed to be we add income undercast and then we add expenses overcast they have the same effect on profit when you understate your income or overstate your expense you are reducing profit so that difference must be added back to the profit that is how we go by the statement of adjusted net profit and then also let's look at stocks we have looked at the income and expense effect let's look at stocks as well or inventory now we have two type of stocks on the income statement the opening inventory and the closing inventory now if the opening inventory or the opening stock is overstated what is the effect on profit that is the question you have to ask yourself if opening stock is overstated it means that cost of goods available for sale will be overstated that means that your cost of sales will be overstated and if your cost of sales is overstated it means that profit 
will be understated. And if profit is understated, that means that the difference that understated profits must be added back. So opening stock overcast will be added back to profit. So opening stock overcast will be there. That means that opening stock undercast will come down here to be taken out. So the opposite is always true. Now looking at the closing stock effect, closing stock has an opposite effect to that of the opening stock. Now if your closing stock is overstated, it means that cost of sales will be understated because we take out opening stock from the cost of goods available for sale to get the cost of sales. So if you have more closing stock, then you have less cost of sales. And less cost of sales means that you have more profit. So when your closing stock is overstated, it means that you are overstating your profit. And if you are overstating profit and you want to correct it, you take it out. So closing stock overcast will be taken out. That means that closing stock undercast or rather be added. So we have closing stock undercast here. So these are the things that we are going to add. So we bring them here and then we have a total. Then we less the opposites of all these things. And so it means that we are going to less income overcast. Then we less expenses undercast. We are looking at the opposite of each of them. So expenses undercast. Then we are going to less opening stock undercast. And then finally closing stock overcast. So when we take that out, we put the total here. Now, if we take this out from that, then we have a figure that we call adjusted or corrected net profit. So this is basically how to go about adjusting your net profit. And please, you have to understand something. You could see that everything in this format is from the income statement. There is nothing like receivables, payables, um, non-current assets, capital, drawings, liabilities here so if you have a typical question for correction of errors when you are preparing your general and your suspense account everything is inclusive but when you get to the statement of adjusted net profit you ignore everything that is a statement of financial position item so you dare not bring any assets or liability overcast or undercast here so that is basically what we are looking at now remember that all the errors that we are talking about may either overstate or understate even if you didn't record it at all, it's an undercast. So don't be surprised that I'm using only overcast and undercast there because if there is an omission, for example, or an error of principle, if you didn't record it at all, it's an undercast. So that figure with fit it as an undercast. That is what I mean by undercast. So if you have, uh, let's say, sales to your omitted and you didn't record it at all, it means that the sales was not recorded. So total sales has been reduced by that figure. That is an undercast. So that is why I mean by overcast and undercast. So you can analyze every error to get an overstatement or understatement of a total figure of the expense or income item. And that is basically what we are going to look at. When we are solving a question, I will take my time to explain it better. And then everything will be fine.